what's up guys uh, apologies i want to apologize to you guys for some time now i have not uploaded video that i'm very very sorry about that so guys i want you to pay attention today we are going to break down the market you normally do weekly analysis but i've been busy with a couple of things so it made me not to upload you i am very sorry about that so i'm going to keep you guys up to date from now on all right so that you can be able to follow up so today i have a juicy setup that i'm going to be telling you so that you can be able to take advantage of it so make sure you pay attention because i'm going to walk you through and tell you what to do there are a couple of setup that i want you to you're going to make money yes you're going to make money so make sure you pay attention to this video so let's jump into the chat and break down the market and see what is it that you are going to be trading once market open thank you all right join me to the other side of this all right so here is my chat i'm going to delete some of these things let me clear my chat what do you do when you open your chat you need to come to higher time frame for instance i'm in a multi time frame if why do i come here i just want to see the overall direction we are going to we are not you know going to be trading uh you know in a, a much smaller time frame these days all right because I have some reasons that made me move in my next video. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to review to you reasons why I feel like that I'm not going to be looking for setup in a smaller time frame any longer. Are you getting me? I'm going to give you reasons for that. But you can still take advantage of it. What I'm going to teach you now is applicable whichever time frame that is available for you. Just make sure you understand the details. All right. So if you take a look at this, we are going to analyze a couple of pairs. I have some list of pairs. You choose one. If you are trading a smaller time frame, you don't trade plenty pairs. Are you getting me? Except you are trading in higher time frame, then you need to add some pairs that you are going to be trading so that you don't, you know, you, when you are waiting for the other pair, you can be trading the other one. Are you getting me? So watch what I'm going to do. When you open a higher time frame, what do you do? You are going to take a look at this. Notice that we are in a, a clear downtrend. You see how the market has been moving. So right now, when you were able to identify that, if you take a look at this, you just see that market pull back to this level and give us what we call what engulfing candle, which lead to this market breathing down, which is on what a multi time frame. But we are not going to be, you know, uh, looking for setup or drawing our key levels in multi time frame. No, we only want to get a picture of what is happening. Are you getting me? Then we move to weekly time frame. When you're on weekly time frame, you should be able to come down and don't forget to always expand your chart so that you get the bigger picture then here is where you mark out your key levels key levels if you take a look at this you notice that market reached this level for instance if i use this remember it's always considered as a region all right then you mark out this key level as where market reach and we start seeing some rejection the same thing happened to here you can also mark out this level all right so I mark out this one, this one. So when market break this level, then the next level target should be down here. But for now, look at where market is and we're expecting it to drop down to this level. Okay. So the next thing you can do is that you can also, you know, mark out this zone. If you notice here, you see that market been touched here, reverse, even when market pull back to this level, you also experience the same thing. The same thing also happened here. You also have something like that at this region. All right where we have some kind of rejection around here, market come here, we also experience the same rejection. Having marked out these key levels in weekly time frame, you can also come to daily time frame to take a look at what is going on with this pair. Don't cross that, don't draw a lot of charts, everything. No, make your chart clean. Make your chart clean. Are you getting me? Remember, after we have marked this key level, all this size is no longer matter. We are want to want to see what is happening within this zone. Are you getting me? You want to see what is happening within this so you see market reach here reverse then come back to retest it then come back here but as market is breaking down this place is where we'll see that engulfing candle in multi time frame which is what shows us that this market is breaking down so but if you take a look at the discover that the market does not just go in a straight line we come down to this level then this couple of rejections around here which make the market to consolidate a bit okay as the market consolidates a bit here then this is an opportunity for loss because we did not join, you did not join at this level, then as the market is concerned, it's creating opportunity for you to enter. So how do you enter is the question of the day. I'm going to answer you and show you what to do. So now we have been able to understand that, okay, the, look at what the market is doing now. So right now, if you take a look at this, I can decide to go, remember, we don't enter in this time frame, in daily time frame or 
weekly time frame we already use it to mark out our three level just like i show you here so what we are concentrating now is this zone so what do we do we are going to come down to four hours four hours is better four hours two hours you know maybe one that is favorable for you are you getting me but if you know let me just give you a kind of a sneak peek to what i'm going to explain in the next video if you know that you don't like news because sometimes you notice know, usd pairs every time news almost every day news is coming up then you need to trade in a higher time frame i get in because in to trade in a higher time frame your stop loss is wide enough even though it may require some more capital before you trade your in a smaller time frame or you reduce your stop loss but i'm going to give you details of all of that uh, later in a video i will publish all right so make sure you subscribe so that you don't you know miss that video because i'm going to explain why we are kind of you know what will make you to consider you know increasing the time frame you enter if you don't like those news that normally come up all every day almost every day there's always news in forest factory coming up here and there high impact news so let's continue if you take a look at this this, this market consolidates here so when market consolidates it gives us opportunity to enter but right now this market break below here if you think let me just show you something if you, if you look here you see that this market consolidates here the same thing here are you getting me so the market consolidate within this zone then break out of here then come to four hours we are on four hours now so when you are on four hours now then you see what we are looking for is break and retest you do not trade at the breakout although it's not that you cannot trade it but in this case we always prefer to go what to go by what break and retest so what we are waiting for now is for this market to come back and retest this zone. When market retest this zone, that's what we you know justify our entry. That's what we determine. Okay, we need to enter this trade now. Okay, but there is what we call conference to confirm whether we should be entering here. The first one is that we have a resistant level here, which is this this line. You see, this line as you are seeing here. Then the second one is what we call trend line. If you are connect here. From here down to here, we connect, which is what to touch. We have first touch, second touch. Remember that third touch always do the magic. The third touch now will always go down. Like the the, the the impulsive move is always bigger than some of these ones. You see this one. If you think this move down from here to here, wait for this one to happen. Except the market did not obey this, it break out and keep heading up then. But if this market reject this zone, I can assure you that this market is going down. Are you getting me? So the second one i have given you the first one is this the second one is this trend line then the third one is if you put the your fubinacci you discover that by the time you draw your fubinacci from this impulsive move all the way down to the where the market stop you discover that we are sitting in a world in a zone where we have uh, this first one this region is considered as a fubinacci level which is 0 0.5 and 0 0.618 level all right so which gives up to three confirmation that here is a high probability trade that you're going to do. so it's not a financial advice don't forget to do your own research but this is a very a 95 percent from my own analysis i see this as 95 95 90 95 you understand you have 95 percent chance that this market is going to break down i get me keep heading down so make sure you pay attention to it we have approach even if market reach here we already have about three confirmation this is another fourth one which will determine your entry all right we have that if you can check some of our other video that we, we talked about what the expect when market reach here because market reach the market might just reach and keep heading up but there is a kind of confirmation which is the final one which determines your entry trigger now we consider this as area of value we also still need to wait for what entry trigger all right so that's why you need to subscribe to this channel so that you don't you get the gist get the details all right of all you need to do so we are waiting for this market to pull back to this level but don't forget you know anything can happen in the market you might just decide to head down and keep heading down but i really believe that this market is going to come down to come up to this level before we see a clear rejection here that will bring this market all the way down to this level. that is it for what AUD USD. Even if you don't trade another pair, all you need to do is to wait for this market to give you an entry setup. Then 
you can follow it up even if you come down you may come down here when you break this level then you give you another entry you just follow it up because overall you are coming down to this level but you may not it may not just go straight it may break reach this level when you reach this level it consolidated it's giving you opportunity to enter another trade so this is a high probability trade from my own understanding but remember it is not the financial advice so let's switch to another pair that i'm also considering in this uh, week's market analysis this is when markets open some of the things you can consider if you take a look at we have usd jpy you know we, we normally trade usd jpy okay but if you miss out on some entry you need to be patient weekly time frame if you come to weekly time frame we don't have to we basically need to consider what is going on within this zone i already mark out some key levels on this one Although it's kind of we have let me just anyway let me just delete it let me clear the chart so that you'll be able to see what i'm seeing on this chart if i clear everything now you should, then you can come here we are weekly time frame weekly time frame if you can see that the market reached this zone we have this region where we have where the market reached before All right, we have the first zone here. We have another zone here. All right, then we also have this zone. But for you to see this clearly, then we need to go to daily time frame. In daily time frame, you should be able to see it clearly. So one thing that's happened, you really see, if you notice, you notice that market consolidated around here, then it break out. In as much as you trade in a higher time frame, what do you need to do? If there is probability for this market to come to this level, this market is heading to this zone. Remember, we have this kind of rejections around here. So I believe that this market is coming. Remember, it reached a reverse and we also have some weak around here. So this market may probably reach this level. When you reach this level, then you're going to pull back, you're going to kind of see a kind of pullback. Are you getting me? Then in that pullback is when you will start looking for opportunity. Are you getting me for you to jump into this trade? Okay. If you are not able to enter when this market pull back around this level, if you check four hours, you discover that you miss some of these entries. See markets pull back there. We were actually, I was actually looking at this. Uh, I was considering whether it's a false break. But one thing I have noticed over the years is that when market gives you a kind of higher high, higher high to a resistance it always break out and keep heading high so in such scenario when you see a false breakout when market is giving you higher high always avoid it don't trade the false breakout all right don't for trade it because if you go to smaller time frame this is more like a false breakout like say you are in four hours time frame see market close come back to close here but it actually gives opportunity for buying as you can see market is heading up so what is expected is for this market to pull back when market pull back, sorry that about that. So that's when market pull back is when you should be able to look for an entry setup. So for now, put your hands. You need to wait. You need to wait. Don't forget the hard part of you know trading is when it comes to waiting, waiting. But if you keep you know trading, you may just blow your account before the market gives you opportunity that you take advantage of. Once it's confusing, avoid it and stay out of the market. All right. So that is what I'm seeing in what in usd jpy so in this case now remember these two i have analyzed and this one involved waiting the other one is also aud usd also involved some couple of waiting but that one is somehow close to within the next week you can be able to see a setup or this one may take maybe throughout next week or so before you can be able or even more maybe by after this week that is coming on the next week you may be able to see a setup who knows all right but for now you may just pull up a bit before it breaks down that's what we are expecting on this one said another one now is what usd uh you know usd all right so i'm showing you some of the things you need to pay attention to okay you know usd if we do the same thing we'll come to higher time frame to see the bigger picture by weekend you see that euro usd i really think that is going to head down okay don't forget if you watch you see that when market give you engulfing candle this market start heading down now in no distance time on monday from ne next week next week 
castle that should be tuesday or wednesday let's few wednesday you see that this market will close if this thing did not pull back we have a golfing candlelight which i believe is going to occur there is probability for these markets to actually start you know going down who knows but we have a problem here because of this zone so it might just come to this level but nevertheless they just see how it plays out but overall if you, as you can see you notice that market have been giving you um lower low here are you getting me you have been giving lower low which is a sign of a downtrend so having established the fact that this market is in a downtrend then you need to come to what weekly time frame in weekly time frame is where you are going to be marking out your key levels where it which determines the direction you are going to be trading for next week what do i do when you are here the same thing we did you can be able to see here maybe this zone this zone might just serve as come up i just mark out this zone as a kind of zone to consider you see it here you can also do the same here you don't have to ignore this because you need to pay attention to if this market is falling it might reach here and give you a different kind of thing are you getting me but for now you need to put it into consideration all right so that is one thing you need to bear in mind and another thing is that we have this zone here we also have this zone here all right so if this market starts heading up this might just be the next level target you see market reject here it rejects here it rejects here all right this is what on weekly time frame so since we already we are we are going to be focusing on this so there's no need to keep extending this all the way to the other side if this market break this zone then the next level target may be just, just down here all right but for, for now we are expecting we are looking at here so if you come down to daily time frame all right when you're on daily time frame you can also connect here if you connect your trend line here you should be able to see that wow now this market is giving you a sign here are you getting it you see these touches here does here on this on this one the market break out of here are you getting it so where is the next level target as this market break below here the next level target is here so we expect that this market is coming down it's coming down to this level all right it's coming down to here what are you going to be entering here no you don't enter there so what are one of the things you can do is to wait for this market either this market pull back to this level you understand if this market pulls back then want to start going down before you enter you understand that's what you should expect from this let's say in four hours time frame if you are here there's tendency this market might just decide to come back and retest this trend line or it may keep heading all the way down but for now there is no setup for you to enter if the market pull back to this level all right then it gives you sign for you to enter then you can be able to enter but for now you have to wait so so far having analyzed this one uh, maybe i can just take a look at gbp usd gbp usd let me open gbp usd so that you also take a look at that to determine the one you are going to be trading for next week all right so in gbp usd let me delete all these things we have here so in gbp usd overall if you go to higher time frame the same thing you see that it's heading down are you getting me it's heading down we have a kind of the market retreats to this level even if, if you draw your fibonacci from here all the way down you see that here is the clear case of what a uh, fibonacci level are you getting this is a fibonacci level which is expected that when market reach fibonacci level is going to start way heading down okay so this is a fibonacci level in a higher time frame on what usd uh, gbp usd so but we do not mark our zone here <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> we do not mark our zone here so what do you do you need to come to this time frame come to weekly time frame so that you can be able to mark out your key zones so looking at this you notice that when markets break this level you see that our next level targets can be here you can also let's just make this zone All right you need to consider this zone all right then if you sorry you can also mark out this one in weekly, weekly time frame
all right you see this box here market been spiked down then it's coming back here then if you come to daily time frame so having established some key levels in a higher time frame, if you come to daily time frame you also see something like you know a kind of trend line that got broken so you see that the market break below here but i want you to pay attention to this if you draw this uh this around here see this thing i draw here so i have the feeling that this market is going to as the market break below here it will pull back to this level are you getting me before the market will continue your next level target will be around this way here is your first level target are you getting me this zone the market will come down to this zone before the next thing why the second one should be around this zone before start thinking of all the way down to this level but for now remember you don't know enter you mark these levels in higher time frame so what do you are you expecting you see this zone here if market break out some in most cases it normally pull back to this level market pull back to this level are you getting me then before it drop again all right so that's what i'm expecting from this the tendency for it to pull back to this level then before it starts dropping so when you see such setup then that is when you will be able to look to enter the trade for now you should be able to watch out for this but for me my favorite or what i'm looking very close to is what this particular pair this particular pair i'm looking to for it to come to this level so that i can short the market and hold it all the way down to this level so make your choice and choose whichever one but i have been able to give you if you find value in this don't forget to click this subscribe button so that you don't miss out all right i'm going to be giving you video except if i'm kind of very busy with other things all right but if i have chance i'm going to try to publish a video and give you my thoughts on what i think in some of these pairs that you're going to be trading so what pair are you also looking at comment in the comment section drop the pair you are looking at to trade next week all right so that's it for today guys thank you and peace out